All right, good morning, everyone. I am so happy to share with you my innovation. This is the power of power of feedback. The use of simplified feedback. Practice your feedback marketing. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jethro Odoi, Master Teacher of Wild of Tacoma National High School. Let me begin my talk by asking you this very simple question. For what? <laughs> All right. Let me ask you this simple question. What are the basic things we teachers do in a class? All right. Probably we are familiar with this triangle. We check the competency, the learning objectives, and after that, after checking or ensuring that the learning objectives is small are smart, we will implement activities because in EdEd we wanted to implement teacher and student-centered approach. And in between, we check, we clarify concepts, we provide inputs. And in the end, we usually end it by giving assessment or evaluation, am I right? Usually in a form of quizzes, essays, activities, or any sort of evaluation. And probably, like what I do, I usually give grades, scores, right? And leaving our students clueless about what is the meaning of those test scores or results. Now, what is missing? What is the problem with the way we handle or implement our lesson? The question is, are we missing something, ladies and gentlemen, or teachers, fellow educators? Yes, probably, it might be, there must be, there might be some problem with the way we practice feedback in, in our respective classes. In the book entitled Visible Learning by Jen Happy, of course, this is a very well-known researcher in education and, of course, an authority in education. He stressed that feedback holds immense power in shaping learning outcomes with its impact capable of being either positive or negative. In fact, in Sauton, in the study of Sauton et al., they cited this book and ranked the different factors that affect learning outcomes and student achievement, and surprisingly, feedback ranked third. Now, the question is, are we utilizing, maximizing the power of this powerful tool, feedback? And the question is, what have we done so far, ladies and gentlemen, fellow educators? Now, Unfortunately, according to the different literature, they cited some concerns and issues, challenges regarding the way we implement feedback in our respective classes. Ferguson in 2011, he noted that the quality of feedback assessment indicating that it may not, it may not meet expected standard. Very sad, right? And to add, in 2016, Ahea et al., they have Reveal that feedback practices are largely let's let's I don't, let's emphasize this one unsustainable, demotivating, without opportunity for improvement. And to add, it lacks in detail, so sad, and difficult to understand, and ambiguous or simply unusable. Those are the issues, challenges, and concerns, ladies and gentlemen. Now. We teachers, we really want them to implement effective feedback. Question, how it looks like? This is how effective feedback looks like in a classroom setting. It is not just pointing out mistake or giving scores or grades. Let us take note of this word or phrase. It makes students think about why they made those mistakes. Like in spelling or math, so they can understand and improve. And furthermore, this study revealed that Students believe that when they knew why a mistake was smart, they could use the feedback to the work is improve in their current and future tasks, making them better learners. That is what we wanted, right? Now, let's talk statistics here. Numbers. Surprisingly, in a study involving 4,500 uh, 4, students in study of shop, it was revealed that 94 of the students among these 4,000 students wanted feedback. That's major, um, uh, that's a uh, very uh, super majority. 76 of the top students use or will use the feedback on subsequent tasks. And lastly, also majority of the students reveal that teachers do not know why their students well enough to offer personally 
meaningful vita. All right, those numbers are surprising. Now, my innovation then, I conceptualize this innovation anchored on this framework, feedback, improvement, and time, to elaborate learning outcomes. And probably, this could be the solution to help us improve our poor feedback practices. What is this all about? Ladies and gentlemen, I am so happy to share with you my innovation entitled Feedback Marketing Streamline Feedback Approach. Streamline because this is structured, streamline because this is simplified. It can be used by elementary and secondary teachers. Now, what are the steps we need to do in order to implement this innovation? Very simple. You will use a form. I actually provided you with a form using these steps. It provides different sections. You will give meaningful feedback to students to allow them and to give them opportunity to reflect on their learning. And at the same time, the target is for them to, for them to improve. Number one, we will give them meaningful feedback as to the competencies or skills they have improved or achieved. There, it can be process skills, scientific skills, or engaging with their peer. Second section, it provides at least an assessment of their literacy, literacy skills, including punctuation, grammar, and uh, spelling. Third, it will provide information about what are the things they need to improve for them to improve better on the next learning or subsequent task. And lastly, this form will provide them or will allow them to do some assessment, which we really need to do. In fact, it was included in our IPCRF to allow our students to do some assessment. And lastly, you will be providing them challenge, challenge questions. This is to check whether they have achieved or understood the learning tasks or competencies provided by them. All right, and after implementing this, I have observed that my students wanted to check their notebook. In fact, one of my students told me that before, they were not that so excited to check or to see the comments or feedbacks from me. But the time I implemented this streamlined approach of feedback, they are now so excited and eager to check or see the challenge questions. And because of the limited time, all right, sorry. Because of the limited time, I will allow you to access all the information. You can access the full innovation paper, the full chart, which will guide you how to implement this in your respective classroom, and of course, the feedback mark marking form, which can be used by elementary and secondary levels. And by that, I would like to leave you this note, a very important note by Stephen Lillen. He said, and let's reflect and ponder on this quotation. The key to learning is feedback. It is nearly impossible to learn anything without it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. That was Sir Jeffrey Alloy, and again, as I said earlier, you will be divided into five, so there will be five groups. We will be presenting by group, and each group you have your assigned school head or principal to present your presentation. For the first.